Hey, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be unboxing something new I got for the wagon. It's going to be an alternator that I ordered from Auto Tech Engineering. I got with them on March 5th and let them know what my needs were. They got back to me real quick. And uh, today is March 22nd. So 17 day turnaround from the time I placed my order to the time they built it and shipped it. And let's take a look at it. So here in the box, got Auto Tech Engineering decal, warranty information. Connect your pin set. Nice keychain. And here's the alternator, guys. The color I went with is teal blue. And it kind of looks like that greenish blue that's on like the newer Suburbans. Some of the Tahoes. That GM color. And yeah, this is a 240 watt, I'm sorry, 240 amp alternator. Can't wait to get it installed. Alright, so I got everything hooked up, wired up. Let's go take a look at the upgrades. All right, before I get into the alternator and show you guys what that looks like, I did have to do the big three power upgrade. That's something that's recommended anytime you're doing a high output alternator. When I was looking at videos, there's a lot of confusing information. So let me just show you guys what I did and get it straight and to the point. So big three, you're upgrading your power wires. Some people do four. I did four and I'll tell you guys why. So for starters, your ground. So here goes one ground to the chassis, to the body. That's one. Ground number two goes from the battery to the engine. That's two. And then power from the battery to power on the alternator. And that's three. Now what makes it four? I've got the alternator grounded to the body as well and that's four so one two three and four the reason i did four is because with a powder coated alternator auto tech recommends that uh that you ground it if you're not getting the right voltage i just went ahead and did it anyways and i am getting a uh, 15.2 volts but there goes my alternator right there it's a real nice candy teal, or teal blue is what it's called. It's like a bluish green. It is uh, putting up 15.2 volts and looks good. So far working good. They send you one of these uh, one of these wiring harnesses and you have to tap into your, your existing harness. But it's real easy, you just follow the letters. They've got videos online that can kind of help you. It's real easy, straight to the point. Yep, there it is, guys. I still need to run a secondary battery at some point. But uh, for now, at least I can turn it up a little bit higher without it cutting off on me. If y'all got any questions, comments, or concerns, y'all hit me up. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.